Uh, before we begin making uh, the other four uh, colors that make up this harmony, I just want to once again stress um, the naming conventions in order to provide yourself with uh, you know, breadcrumbs so you can find your way back to the original file. I'm just going to highlight that and hold down Option, drag it, hold down Shift until it snaps in place. And then we can do this. Well, we can do two of them at once. Actually save some time, come down here. Option and Shift again, we're looking for that snapping. And then because we want five, we'll just do one at the end, hold down Option. There's that same thing. Now, once again, they were 300 pixels, so we want to check and make sure our math is right, and we've got 1,500 pixels for the width, and that works. What's not going to work is being able to replace this color and have it respect that opacity. I can't figure out how to do this. Grouping this just eliminates the possibility uh, to use the eyedropper. So if you can figure out a way to make this happen, oh, I'd be grateful. I'd love to learn it. But for right now, we're just going to go ahead and use that eyedropper on each of these and just select the next color in its sequence. And then we can change the opacity for all of them at once. And because of the way we did it, this won't work with some of the other strategies we've used in order to build this. So now when I change this to 60%, we get our color harmony. And I feel like the yellow is a little weak, and that's because, you know, it's a light color to start with, and it's sitting on top of white, so maybe that needs to jump from 60 to 70 percent. So little tweaks like that, just getting everything just so, it's, you know, quite often is something you have to do. Again, if we wanted to make a five by five square, this is pretty simple. We select these four, I'm gonna hold down Option, drag this over here until it snaps in place. No shift this time because um, that's just not going to work. And then once again, we're gonna hold down Option and the shift is going to um, keep the drag. If I hold down Shift, you can see it, it wants to be on a 45 and we're yeah, it is a 45. Don't, little Homer Simpson moment. That did work. It's not going to work here if I hold down shift. You see that? So snap that into place. And we're almost there. Just a couple more. So making this, you know, just so and presenting your, whoa, command Z. Present your color harmonies. That's that's all part of the game. Presentation. Not quite sure why we're getting that white. Are we still at 1500 pixels? We're 1501, so I missed. I'm going to click here, highlight these two. Over, up. There we go. These two over and up. Now let's check. And again, 1499, so these two are probably one pixel off. And this kind of double checking is part of the game. Why is this happening here? See that gap? So somewhere else we have something going on. And again, I'm going to hit Command-0 to zoom out to actual size. Again, this is good because problems 900. So we we'll take this, move it over one pixel. Apparently, I moved that one over the top of this. We had that overlap. So little things that um, are off by just a hair. Come on, snapping. There we go. Um, will affect what you're doing. You want this to be perfect. And so now I'm going to hit Command minus, space bar, and... Highlight this, make sure it's 1,500 pixels by 1,500 pixels. And now before we go any further, exporting this. See, we've got all these rectangles here. Highlight everything, and then um, group it, Command-G. It's Modify Group Selection. Control-G on your uh, Chromebook. So 
just know, when I say command, for you it's control. When you get in the Mac lab, because it's a Mac, it's command. That's the way the shortcuts work. So I'm going to group this and notice that all of a sudden we have our image standing alone in our group. And I can reselect it just by clicking on this. And now we can export. Click that button or, God, I don't know. I've been using the keyboard shortcut. <laughs> there it is. The advanced export is Shift-Command-D. So that's an easy way to do this if you can remember that shortcut. And we don't want both objects. We want just the selection that we made of this. And then we can export a ping at actual size because it's 1,500 pixels. These are vectors. If you're working smaller, you can always increase this size and make it larger. Uh, you can always resize it on the screen so it's larger. I want your presentations to be at least 1,500 pixels when, it, when it's a square like this. We'll export that, and it is called Group 1 Ping. Now, what I would do is name it this so we have a trail from our ping back to our original file. And that's just working smart. But then we can take this renamed ping into Photoshop Express and enhance it and make this a little nicer. Are there other things we could do to this? Absolutely. And maybe that'll happen in the next video.